Hey, what's up guys? Today I am gonna show you one of my favorite tricks in After Effects, and it actually impressed one of my professors in college. So stick around, let's go. <laughs> Today we're talking about rotoscoping, and the traditional way of rotoscoping is using the pen tool and masking, and it's a really long process. But the way I'm gonna show you is a new tool in After Effects, or a relatively new tool in After Effects that gets the job done a lot quicker. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you one of my favorite effects with After Effects. So I just got this stock clip here from Storyblocks. This isn't sponsored or anything, but I do use their services, so I'm using it for this. Uh, I just use this video because it already looked like a picture was used and animated so I thought it would be a lot easier to key out for an example to show you guys but you can use this trick with any kind of video or anything that kind of has like some contrast and you want to mask out so anyway here we go so all I'm gonna do is I have my clip and I'm gonna mask out my astronaut so normally you'd have to go in and you'd use this pen tool and you'd go around and you'd select the whole thing and then you'd have to go frame by frame and you know that's a tedious process so instead of doing that all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click my roto brush tool over here roto brush tool this guy important that guy and then you can do alt W or whatever but you click that guy and then you're gonna double click on your clip and then you just select your astronaut. So I'm just gonna go through, roughly select my astronaut, boom. Sweet. And it gave me that because it's giving me an issue that says it's not the same 25 frames per second. So all we're gonna do, go up to our composition settings and change it to 25 frames per second. And sometimes it'll say some wonky number, just put in that wonky number. <laughs> so boom, now we have that. And then let's actually delete our roto brush and then just redo it. Cause now we have the actual data that we need, but you will get that issue. So yeah, it's a good thing I'm showing you that. So yeah, there we go. Now our astronaut you can see looks dope and then we can just fill in these little tiny areas and then if you have areas that you don't want in there you just press alt on your keyboard and it minuses it so we can just go through minus the parts we don't want and then add in the parts we do want and then you just need to check this bar right here and that's what is gonna be rotoscoped on your timeline. So say you want the whole clip to be rotoscoped, you gotta drag this thing out all the way and then you can scrub through and it should mask out your astronaut, see? And we'll go a couple frames before. Boom. So now we have our astronaut masked out so now we can go back to our main layer and you can see he is masked out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate that layer and with the bottom layer, we just uncheck that and then we can add any effects we want to this. So in my example, I went a little crazy with it, but you can just, you know, desaturate that and then this guy is still doing his thing. Um, what else can we do? We can put like some text in there. So let's put a text file in there. We'll put space swag. And then put that in there. And you can see if I have this layer above it, he's gonna go above the astronaut. But if I put that text layer in between, he goes right be behind the astronaut. So this is a very basic example, this is a very easy example, but I hope it shows you the power of rotoscoping and what you can do with it. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you learned something about After Effects and the rotoscoping tool. It is one of my favorite 
tricks to use because it just wows people and clients and customers and your friends and family. They're just like, how did you do that? Because you're basically photoshopping masking stuff out with video so it's really cool all right guys so i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please like it if you have any questions please leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe i'm gonna try to do some more videos and stuff so yeah thank you guys i hope you have a great day later